Compass, an extremely valuable tool that allows the user to reach their destination. But to arrive successfully, the user must understand their coordinates. Where are they coming from and where are they going? Nevertheless, the compass that a person carries within their mind, body, and spirit is the compass worth the most value. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, CAC in the Spotlight. So stop everything right now. Hit a like button, subscribe, share, comment, okay? We are on that road to 1,000 subs to help your boy get monetized, okay? So let's get right into it. In this video presentation, it is called Alpha Inmate Strategist, okay? And this is my response video to the three black men you see on the screen because they said some very reckless, irresponsible shit about passport bros. So I gotta check them. Let's go. First up on the list, we got the black man in the scully hat with some glasses, the strategist, okay? So what we're gonna do is play his video, listen to it, and then they will come back and we gonna cook, okay? Let's go. I can speak from experience. This is what the passport boys won't tell people. Most of these women they, they get, they come from third world countries. They come from poor places. So they're looking for opportunity. For starters, we're men. Put some respect on our name. Secondly, you mentioned third world countries, poor women who are looking for opportunities. A lot of passport brothers are running away from a third world country. It's called the hood and the projects. And a lot of women are looking for opportunities by way of child support and government assistance programs. So what are you talking about? So when these guys go over there with money, cause ain't no, ain't no, ain't you're not bagging no, no pass. You're not bagging no girl over there unless you got money. You coming out your pocket. You know, bro, it's truly sad to hear you say things such as the only way a black man overseas is going to get a woman is if he comes out of his pocket and spends some money. Have you forgotten that a lot of brothers from the hood do not have money to spend frivolously? Do you really have experience, bro? Because if you did, you would know that there are a ton of women overseas who do not need your money. Is, is poor, of course she's going to cater to everything you want. Again, your lack of experience shines through. My fiance is not poor, but she does cater to my needs. It's not a flex when you pay for a woman overseas to entertain you when she charges for that entertainment. That's not a flex. Nor is it a flex to be in the USA to come out of pocket and pay for these pass me chicks. And nor is it a flex to lock yourself in the basement and play strategy games all day. That's why I called you the strategist because it looks like you've locked yourself in your mom's basement and you've been playing Tetris all damn day. And what's up with all the hate, bro? Why don't you say something uplifting, encouraging, and positive to help these brothers on their quest, huh? What's up, bro? And next up on the screen, we got the inmate. And as looking at this brother, his image speaks volumes, okay? Let's listen to what he has to say. And again, in like fashion, we're gonna critique that shit. Number of men that like to be passport boys, passport bros, or passport gentlemen, or passport whatever. I think you guys forgot what passport boys or bros was really intentionally made for. Oh, have we? So tell us, what was passport bros intentionally made for? It was for men who already get women to go across overseas to find traditional women of old tradition. Well, hell, I guess I made a mistake. With my passport, I went overseas and I studied in several different universities. And I've been employed as an English teacher for the better part of 11 years. And I perform volunteer work in Ecuador on a cacao farm. I guess I missed the mark. It's to go and get a woman. It's not for lame men who don't get women to go overseas to try to get women. That's not what's happening. Something seems off with you, bro. Why are you so preoccupied and wanting to monitor what other men are doing with their passports overseas? Why are you worried about other men's sex lives do you feel like you missing out on something bro women are women so many of you men forget you still don't look good you still don't have the characteristics of what they want bro not only are you worried about men's sex lives in other countries you worried about what men look like now man i think we putting the pieces together you just finished a 15 year bid you was denied box for 15 years and now you want to come out and you want to control the supply of box in other countries 
That's what it is. But they also want a handsome man. And a lot of those men look good even though they're broke. They stay in shape. But you men in America are trash here. You're trash there. You got bozos on this app thinking that they really get women. <laughs> you don't get women here. You don't get women there. You don't get women anywhere. Dr. Seuss bozo. <laughs> hey, bro. You let too much information slip out your stupid ass mouth. A man with muscles tatted the fuck up worried about other men's sex life who wants to judge their physical appearance you sound like you've been turned out in jail bro come on now just admit it come out the closet tell us the truth you did a 50 year bid big bubba was busting them cheeks and you missed the box now come out and say it ain't no reason to hate on passport bros man just come out tell us the truth accept your sexuality you've been turned out in the pen. The next brother will be putting on the screen right now is AMS at Alpha Male Strategies. Now this one hits me quite hard, okay? It hits me differently. And I'm gonna tell you more about why it hits me differently as I critique what he says in that podcast, all right? So let's go. In like fashion, we are gonna play his video, let him speak, and we are gonna critique it, okay? Let's go. The guys want to run their ass to Columbia. The guys, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the whole reason. Because guys don't know how to get women to respect them. Mm -hmm. And so they go to these foreign countries, Brazil, Colombia, all these other countries where women are quote unquote more feminine, right? Yeah. Because they can't get the American women to respect them. In your interview, AMS, you said that men run to Colombia and overseas because they cannot get American women to respect them. Now, look at it from a passport bro's perspective. We don't want to deal with the headache and the bullshit that comes with dealing with non-cooperative, combative, Western bitches. Mr. Alpha Investment Strategies. Dealing with Western women is all about the return on your investment into them. Mm -hmm. And so they want to run to those countries because they, those women are quote unquote supposed to be. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea about what AMS supposed to be more submissive. But at the end of the day, if you can't make a woman submit over here, mm. then going over there, you ain't gonna make a woman to be able to submit over there Facts. either. Yeah, I have no idea. AMS, you said I have no idea, but I beg to differ. I think you are quite aware of why so many black men are going overseas, and it's not all about women. AMS, we both come from the hood. You said on so many occasions you're from the projects, so you know what it is. I'm from the hood too, and we can both attest to the fact that our hoods are crumbling right around us. Black men are going overseas for better opportunities, better treatment, renewed psychological perspective. Black men are going overseas to heal from the years of being traumatized in this white suburban society that you and I both were born into. AMS, you dropped the ball on this one, bro. Instead of acknowledging the plight of your fellow black brothers, you put the main focus on pussy. And that is very unfortunate. It's sad, bro. And the end of this video presentation all three of these brothers, the alpha, the inmate, and the strategist, have all forgotten the plight of black men. They put the focus on pussy and not on our purpose. It's sad. Speak life into your black brothers, AMS, inmate, and strategist. This has been your boy, CAC in the Spotlight. Hit a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share. I'm out, deuces.